Welcome to this how-to video for Zoom Text 10. Today we're going to walk you through how to use Zoom Text Recorder. With Recorder, you can turn text from documents, web pages, emails, or other sources into audio recordings that you can transfer to your mobile device and listen to at your convenience. Here's how it works. Now before we can record something, we're going to need to select and copy some text to the Windows clipboard. Let's go ahead and open a news article on the web. From here, I'm simply going to click and hold my left mouse button down and select the text in the article. Now to copy the text, I can press Ctrl C on the keyboard or right click and choose copy. Then all I need to do is bring up the Zoom Text toolbar and click on Recorder. Here you'll be presented with a dialog box that allows you to choose your recording options. First, there are three different destinations. File, which allows you to save the recording wherever you'd like on your computer in either WAV or Windows Media Audio format. iTunes, meaning the recording will be automatically imported into your iTunes library as an MP3 in its own playlist called Zoom Text Recorder. And lastly, Windows Media Player, which is similar to iTunes and it will import the recording into your Windows Media Player library as a WMA file in its own playlist called Zoom Text Recorder. In the next field, you can rename the track. By default, the track name will be the first few words of the text you had copied. You can also change the track location if you're exporting out to a file by clicking on the Browse button. When you're ready, simply click on the Record Text button to record the file. Recordings generally take about 10 to 15 seconds per page of text to record. Underneath the Record Text button, you'll see the Preview and Capture area where you'll see a visual preview of the text you've copied, a listen to preview button, which will play up to the first 400 words of text. Stillwater, NY exasperation began to wash down Jordan Haynes' face as one and capture clipboard, which will retrieve any text you've copied to the clipboard since you originally opened the recorder dialog. Lastly, by clicking on the show synthesizer settings button, you can adjust the voice you want the audio file to be recorded in. Let's go ahead and see how it works exporting to iTunes. Still water, NY exasperation began to wash down Jordan Haynes' face as one overtime bled into the next. Now that we've shown you how to use Recorder exclusively by using your mouse, we're going to show you how using hotkeys can tremendously increase your recording efficiency. This time we're going to open a Word document we want to have read. Now let's say I want to read this entire long document and instead of selecting all the text with my mouse I'll press Control A to select all the text in the document and then press Control Caps Lock S to immediately start Recorder from my selection. Now I'm presented with a Recorder dialog and can simply press Alt R to start recording. Note that Recorder will remember your previous settings, so you won't have to change them each time you open the dialog. While Zoom Text is recording, you're free to go about other tasks. A tone will indicate when the recording is done and automatically open iTunes. The Brothers Grimm Fairy Tales The Golden Bird A certain king had a beautiful garden, and in the garden stood a tree which bore golden apples. For more information, or to purchase your own copy of Zoom Text 10, visit us online at www.aisquared.com or call us toll-free at 800-859-0270.